all right everyone it is good to do another video this is going to be a quick one but the value was very good and the usage was great so I thank all of you for watching and I really appreciate all the new subscribers uh, once again these videos are still just coming at you raw and not edited so I was at Harbor Freight well I went to Harbor Freight to check out this um, this staple gun and to my surprise it was really really nice the price is I think eight dollars and some change or something that is the item number that's the name this is the package and what I like about it was the convenience that within this one gun not only it has the options to do three different types of staples they actually included the staples with the gun for nine dollars that was phenomenal I walked in grabbed it I've used it on the project which I will uh, take a video of the project but it has been working fantastic um, now it's inexpensive but the fact that it has the capability of doing three different types of staples from one stapler for under nine dollars make the value great um, I will suggest that you utilize this in very um, medium to low probably closer to low usage like meaning something where you don't need a lot of force because one thing I did notice is that the 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 regular uh, staples they're not that sharp which you have to have something give way for how cheap the price is so the staples are decent they get it done but I would not approach use this to approach anything major that you have to staple lightweight usage the stuff I'm doing was very light um, yeah but these are, are not that sharp so the material has to be in a condition where you can do light stapling I don't know if my description is is that good but it has to be something that's lightweight and nothing really 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 major I wouldn't use this for thick cardboard or thin pieces of Luan or just just something where you need a stronger type of material within the staples because of course this is inexpensive made in China the staples and the metal I've noticed that comes out of China is always a different grade than American made or other countries that make steel or, or metal or something like that so lightweight use you're going to be okay if you need something major then you're going to have to go with something more heavy duty and acquire the staples that are or have a, a angle on the tip where let's see because I, I did notice like certain staples they have like a like a point like a knife or a blade or something like that but anyway the point is for the usage of this it's been worth the money it, it, it's it was three times it's, it's been worth three times what I paid for this what it's allowed me to do so it's allowed me to save a lot of money save a lot of time the convenience was there I just want to share it with you guys because that's what I do just sharing great buy for lightweight use it's been functioning I haven't had any uh, jams uh, oh please note that the U the U uh, staples they go directly in the middle not on the outside of the rails the I haven't tried the nails but the nails I think the way you load them they go on each side of of the rail on the inside because I have my uh, two assistant assisting me and she did jam the the uh, u-shaped staples in here because she I wasn't watching and she had inserted them not directly in the middle 
part of the the leg was on one of the tracks and so it doesn't go in there like that so be mindful just stick it right in the middle and neither one of us even was near the actual instruction manual so uh, I really appreciate all of you all the new subscribers you guys are fantastic all of you that I communicate with in the comments I really uh, appreciate it and as you see I respond back to every single comment no matter what and I thank all of you for watching and I will catch you in the next one